Hey, I'm Chris Berman. Coming up on ESPN. Most people think that Josh Tears of McCown is just keeping the starting quarterback seat warm here. But he's got other ideas. Da, da, da. We'll see if the third-year pro can get this offense rolling. Green Bay Packers, New York Jets, now! Well, the fans are looking for their seats as the teams are down on the field warming up. (laughs) Greetings from Jet Stadium, everybody. I'm Dan Stevens. Peter O'Keefe is next to me in the booth, and Peter, we've got a couple of offensive powerhouses down on the field. No doubt about it, Dan. We could be in for a high-scoring game today. Number 14, he's a quarterback with excellent mobility. If he doesn't see something happening downfield or the pocket breaks down, he doesn't mind scrambling in the least. He's not the only big-time player on that squad, though. Number 83 is a seriously talented tight end who can really do it all. Whether he's blocking or receiving, this kind of versatility is a major boon for his team. A talented duo to be certain. It just might make the difference out there. Well, all right, Peter. We'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses. But first, the coin toss. Heads it is. Good kick. Number two, kicking off for the Packers. It's time for Jets The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number two, kicks it, and we are underway. Jones fields it all the way back at the three. Tackled at the 21. Second down and gains about three yards. Anderson calls it. Number 20. Anderson snags the missile and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Anderson bobbled the catch, but didn't lose his cool and he managed to keep hold of the ball. Great focus. And it will be a first down. First down, three wideouts in the game. Number 14 throws this on a rope, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Up, second down. Number 20 will take the hand. Number 14 uncorks this to the left sideline, and it's intercepted. No one in front of him. Number 21 has a monster play for the D. He picks off the ball here and then takes it downfield for a huge game. Man, you cannot coach that. Boy, that was a heads up play to come away oh. and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 40. Rodgers gets some air on this pass and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Jenkins eventually gets there, but I don't know why he even bothered. Big gain and they'll move the chains. Well, he eventually stops them. Will be first down. Williams goes his right and center and heads up field. Stop at the eight. Roberts with the tackle. Williams sticks close to his blockers here, and it pays off. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second. <laughs> Rodgers throws this one to the end zone, right. and it's cut for the score. Allison has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about... St- Jones decides to take it out of the end zone. Fourth own 20 yard line. Thomas gets the call on first the tackle. Yeah, baby, this is what football is all about as far as I'm concerned. Who wants it more? Number 20 loses one on the play of the game. 
Number 21 Passes makes a play on this and, and forces the incompletion. Fourth down no. coming up. Situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Montgomery oh. takes it at the 37. Brought down the at the 46. Montgomery seized some prime field position for his offense with that huge run back. Uh, they needed that, especially after... See if they can keep it up. They'll start at the 46-yard line. Williams picks up Williams, six on the play. Here. Williams gets the ball again and heads out right. Drag down at the 33. That Williams down next to his blockers like a kick-me sign as he runs the football. Well, yeah. <laughs> Allison makes the on, catch out yeah. to the left, and oh, he's in on, for, for the score. Rodgers yeah. throws into a crowd here and by some miracle gets a completion out of it. I don't know how that happened, Dan. Let's have another look. There you go. Well... <laughs> Jones decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks the tackle. Tackled at the 28. Peter, it looks like the playoff race is shaping up. Well, it sure is, Dan. Their own 28 yard line. Thomas goes in motion. Number 14 comes in out left, and they can't connect. Incomplete. It's intercepted. No one in front of him. Touchdown. Matthews picks off the ball, and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. Jones decides to take it out of the end zone. Drag down. We'll see what they do on this ride as they start at their own 23-yard line. With the sack. Daniels sacks him back. Daniels nails his man behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to cost the offense a few yards. Oh, yeah, that's a great one set. Second and long ahead. Number 20 takes it to his fifth cap. Number 14 lobs it to the left side by his grant. They get the first on third. Anderson has three guys covering him. But look what happens. Incredible catch. And Peter that time. Thomas catches it in the flat. And that's good for six. Carries it for the sixth time and number 20 gets the call on third down and heads wide right. Eventually pushed out of bounds at the 41. Number 21 eventually gets there, but I don't know why he even bothered. Big gain and they'll move the chains. Well, he eventually stops them, but way past side. Yeah, they gotta give this offense more trouble, Dan. They're making it look too easy. Number 14 rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's complete at the 23. Touchdown, and touchdown! Anderson has hands to make the catch, but he's also got legs. Watch. There's the grab. And now the run. It's all about desire, baby. How bad do you want it? Was it supposed to be a touchdown pass? Montgomery decides to take it out of the end zone. Shoots! Rogers throws a bullet to the flat, and it's caught just barely past the markers for a first. Rogers. The 35. Tackled at the 35. That was perfect positioning back there to get the interception. Heck of a defensive play. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with 35-yard line. Number, number 20 will get the carry. Oh, a cross-country skier that time to get around him. He is a load out there. Number 14 Passes puts his complete. arm into this one, and number it's not reeled in. Down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Feels the punt at the 19. Start at their 33-yard line. Rodgers lofts this one out to the left, and the reception's made at the 37. Tackled, and the clock will continue. Cobb faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. 
Oh, nice catch. What a play. A massive pickup. Number 16 catches at left sideline. And that's a touchdown. Rodgers makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow. Now that is one confidence. Jones fields the kickoff at the four. Dodges a tackle. Turn of 18. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, the turnover column has the grim news, in my opinion. If you want to win, you have to hold on to the ball. <laughs> Number 20 takes... <laughs> Number 20 takes the handoff and chews up about four on the play. And that'll do it for the That's first the half of, of this one. Quarter. The Packers in command of this one, 28 to seven. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome everybody to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Packers are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Number 21 was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Packers, after getting an interception, the Packers inside the red zone. Rodgers would drop back and put one right on the money. An eight-yard touchdown for the Packers. The Packers later on in the second quarter, Packers ahead by seven. Rodgers connected with his man on this one. They're now up by 14. Jets later in the second. Matthew is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off touchdown for the Packers. Jets losing 21 to nothing. Anderson emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. A 41-yard touchdown for the Jets. The Jets close in a little. They're now down by 14. The Packers middle of the second. Number 26 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Packers late into the second quarter. Packers up by 14. Rodgers is back to throw. And look at the finesse he puts on this one. Nice. And that's where we'll leave this one. Jets are down big at halftime. 28 to 7. Kick off away. Montgomery fields the second half kickoff at the 6. <laughs> Hammered down at the 27. Susie Culber is He said it all boils down to the thing. Focus. Second down. <laughs> Gets the call again. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. It'll pummels this one deep. Number 43 fields the deep punt at the 18. This will start this final drive at their own 22-yard line. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. He's pretty sure. Called on. No dice, and it falls incomplete. incomplete. That will bring oh, up boy. fourth down. Ah. Montgomery fields it at the 32. Five yard line. William. Rodgers throws this one deep down the right sideline, and Packers. it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Graham reels in the catch despite being covered by two defenders. Dan, I guess he just can't be intimidated. Check this out. Oh, yeah, it's all about pressure, but still, no one could corral him. Williams. Rodgers lobs this one deep to the end zone, and it's caught for a touchdown. Williams shows his coverage, man, the finer points of pass patterns, namely, get away from me. I have the ball to catch. He really beat his man, that and he usually meets it. It's good. 
Jones catches it back at the four. Brought down at the 25. Really can't be happy with their passing game up to this point. We'll see what they call on with the tight end. Line. Number 14. Throws a bullet to the flat. It's intercepted. Tackled at the 41. Jones does a fantastic job breaking down the play and knowing where to be to intercept the pass. Having help in the zone really paid off for him. Drive in great position at the 41 yard line. William try next. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Johnson hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Hey guys, we've covered this before. You know the plan, you know what to do. Rogers makes the pass. The ball is caught at the 29. Finally dropped at the 21. That will bring up first down. Lewis was wide open on that play, man. Makes you wonder what the D was doing. Peter, he can get free in that mount. He's going the wrong way. Rodgers is feeling some pressure as he lets this one go, which is why it zings right into the defender's reach. He wishes he had that one back. Another Number 20 goes in motion. Wilkerson sacks him way back at the 19. Wilkerson sends this offense backpedaling with a nice sack in the backfield. They lose some escalator. Yeah, a good rule of That's thumb here is to try quarter. to move the ball in the general direction of the other team's end zone. That, that's what usually works. That'll be his first sack of the game. And that'll do it for the third quarter. Anderson didn't the haul that incomplete. one in, and it falls Anderson. incomplete. <laughs> Wilkerson. A miracle here. They're really going to put their defense in a tight spot. Number 81 drops it, and they will turn it over. What a costly mistake. Intended receiver. King with the coverage. Number 81. As we check out the replay, Dan, you can see that he can't quite get his hands around this mid-range one. They needed Peter, although I don't think they should have punted it away. No, that's far behind. They are definitely in. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. Montgomery the Cruz. Switch. Rogers lobs this one a bit and Touchdown. it's cut for the score. I'm the man. I'm the man. man. Sorry. Don't believe that, man. I gotta get my head right. I gotta get my head right. Rodgers hits his target in a big way. That ball had the zip and accuracy of a ballistic missile. Fantastic. What an arm. Jones fields the kickoff at the two. Pop hard at the 24. Jones will see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 24-yard line. Number 81. Number 14 makes the throw after the Reels in the football. Number 14 fires this one over the middle. Oh, Wilkerson sacks him way back at the 26. Number 14, zings it to the right side, and this Passes one is incomplete. incomplete. Third and short. But instead, they force the incompletion. That's how the D is... So Number 14, unloads this one to the left, and it's intercepted. No one in front of him. He's touchdown. in for the touchdown.
Okay, everything goes right here. The interception, the yards he gobbles up afterwards, and the icing on the cake, the touchdown, baby. You can't coach that kind of playmaking. Jones catches it back at the three. Drag down at the 23. Anderson bobbles and drops it incomplete. Wow. How often you see him out of sync like this? Number 14 throws a bullet here, and it's intercepted. No one in front of him. Knocked out of bounds at the eight. Holding, number 20, defense. Five-yard penalty, automatic first down. King clearly earned a flag on this one. He held his man a little too obviously here. Yep, defensive holding is the call, and I got to agree with that. The Jets take their first time out. Number 14 zips it to the left sideline. Number 81. Number 14 rifles it out left side and it's complete at the 44. Wow, look at that. He's up over 3,000 passing yards. Great work so far. Pulls it in right side, and he's got the first. The clock continues to tick down. Number 14 ropes this to the end zone, and it's intercepted. And he's in for the touchdown. Check it out. Okay, everything goes right here. The interception, the yards he gobbles up afterwards, and the icing on the cake, the touchdown, baby. You can't coach that kind of playmaking. Jones fields the kickoff at the five. The ball's loose. He panicked when the ball got loose in that. Stewart makes the catch out to the left and is at the 35. First tackle and the clock will continue to run. It will be first down. Number 14 spikes the ball and that will stop the clock. Number 81 grabs the rope right side and the clock continues to wind down. Number 14 throws a high, long one to the right, and it's tipped yeah. incomplete. Yeah, that will bring it. up batted ball. Nice yeah. aggressive. Gets the sack, and that will force a turnover on downs. <sighs> Wilkerson goes in unblocked and nails him to the ground. The O-line should be embarrassed. And that will be it for them. Yeah, chalk this one up in the L column, Dan. It's all over. And that is going to do it for this one. The Packers come out on top, 56 to 7. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN Video Games post-game wrap-up. The Packers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Graham is going to try to stretch the field here. He's going to make them pay. A 35-yard play that set up a Packer touchdown. The Packers move ahead big and now lead by 28. Jones is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Packers, after getting an interception, Packers winning by 28. Johnson would come up with the big play to kill a drive because he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. 
The Packers have it again. Rodgers needed to be on target here, and he was. A five-yard touchdown for the Packers. Packers ahead, 42-7. to Number 21 was able to step in front of this pass and pick one off, but he wasn't done there. Touchdown for the Packers. The Packers have opened it up and now lead by 42. The Jets, after getting an interception, this time at the 10-yard line. Matthew is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Touchdown for the Packers. The Jets, after a red zone stop, Jets losing by 49. Stewart had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. And that's where we'll leave this one. Packers serve up a blowout, 56 to seven. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game Award. Roger is on the sidelines with Susie Collins. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You excelled under pressure today and led your team to a big win. What was the key to your success? You gotta be honest, you know, we just came together as a team real well today. My teammates all helped me out a lot and uh, I'm playing with a great cast of characters alongside me. I'm just happy to get the W and now we've got to move on and look ahead. Chris, back to you. Well, that just about does it. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time here on ESPN, celebrating 25 years as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. So long. This is SportsCenter. I'm Chris Berman. Well, let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Bengals squeeze out a four-point victory. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. Collins won't see action for a while, so this offense is going to have to make do without him. Unfortunately, it's a torn ACL, and that'll keep him out for the rest of the season. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. Graham will be on the sidelines for a while, so this defense will need to do some reshuffling in his absence. Unfortunately, the doctors have confirmed a cracked vertebra in his neck, keeping him out for the rest of the regular season. Now the big story of the day. This guy is going to be watching from the sidelines for a while, as his injury will deal a major blow to this team. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. The Giants lost this one, but will stay at number one in the NFC East. Reed stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Patriots pick up their 11th win of the year. Number 17 pulled down 100-plus receiving yards and helped his Panthers beat the Falcons. In San Diego, right by Coronado Bay, we had the Chargers end up on the right side of an 11-point game. Packers, Jets. Chargers, number 21, would come up with a huge play here because he was able to pick one off here, then had some clear sailing in front of him. The Packers go on to win this by the final score of 56-7. to Up in Seattle Stadium, we had the Seahawks come away with a very compelling 28-point blowout. The Steelers' defense held their opponents to under 100 rushing yards in their win at New Orleans. The Jaguars won big on the road and will have to travel again next week when they meet the Texans. The Broncos lost this one, but will stay at number two in the AFC West. The Rams win yet again this week and keep their impressive streak alive. Buccaneers, Cowboys. Barber is in his own territory, would like to get his team out to the midfield stripe. Takes the pitch, goes off right tackle, bursts through the hole. Look at him go! The 20, the 10, touchdown! 62 yards! The Buccaneers win this one by the final score of 17 to 7. Number 86 pulled down 100 plus receiving yards and helped his Eagles beat the Texans. In a long standing NFC rivalry, we had the Vikings pick up win number 7. And in our final game, we had the 49ers come away victorious. So let's change things up a bit and turn to a guy that's had his eye on the college game, and that's our own Mel Kuyper Jr. He joins us now. Mel, 
Your work never ends, I know. Believe me, I know better than anybody else. But it's never too early to start thinking about next year's draft, is it? Well, you're absolutely right. And with the college bowl season upon us, a lot of guys view their upcoming bowl game as more or less an open audition for NFL scouts everywhere. Poe is a guy right off the bat that's really impressed me thus far. 6'5", 321, out of Georgia Tech. And this is a guy I think will be an anchor for some team's line for years to come. He's got great balance and good footwork in the middle, but what I like most is he's got real leadership quality. He's not afraid to take charge out there. Brown is another guy that's starting to make some noise with a terrific senior season. He was a virtual unknown coming into this year, but people are starting to project him to have a solid NFL career. I'm starting to jump on the bandwagon as well. So that'll do it for now, but expect there to be plenty happening between now and April. Yes, indeed, just one week to go and the playoff picture's starting to take shape, but still some areas that'll need to be cleared up next weekend. We'll start with a look at the AFC playoff picture. And now, checking things out over in the NFC playoff race. So that's how we stand to this point. Still lots of jockeying left to go as we get this thing sorted out for January. So that'll do it from here. Boomer, we send it back over to you. And that'll do it here for Pivotal Week 16. As always, plenty of surprises to go around and plenty of intrigue still to come. My primetime players each took his team to the next level and each is gonna take home a game ball. Great work, fellas. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.